Hey guys, Witchy Cat Lady here in Dragon Adventures Halloween Update. It is our first day of the Halloween Update, and I'm going to walk you through and tell you everything you need to know. First, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, turn on those notifications if you haven't already, and let's get into it. So, this is the spooky castle. <laughs> let's get in to the main area first. So you're probably wondering, well, how do I get the eggs? How do I get the candy? I'm going to tell you all the ways to get the eggs and get the candy, as well as show you what's in the shop, and I'm going to show you some of the best ways to get eggs and candy. Because I have been playing for several hours now just to get the hang of everything so that I can walk you through it. But first, when you come in, you see your accessory store over here. And if you're familiar with the accessory stores, items do rotate. Everything from past Halloweens will be rotating through in here. So if there's something you've missed and you want it, it will come. Just keep an eye on that refresh timer. And yes, this beautiful pumpkin jack-o'-lantern pookie face will be in there rotating in. That's one of my favorite items. We also have the event shop which has your presets and your themes and your potions and your buildables and yes there are new themes and elements in here we have a jack-o-lantern theme that's new this year the ghost potion is coming back we have a witch brew theme all kinds of lovely past ones there is a plot here for us to get and here are two more new ones. We have the Black Widow theme, which is kind of like the Afterlife, and it looks like we don't have the Afterlife theme anymore. It might be rotating on the wheel. We'll keep an eye out for that. And we have a Witch Brew Potion. This gives a beautiful, beautiful element. This is actually what I'm after the most out of all the potions. I want a whole lot of these. In our buildings, we have all kinds of beautiful things in here that you can pause and take a look at, from pumpkins to incubators. So check this out, a magic pumpkin incubator. And a pookie buildable, which I have in my plot. I love it. All kinds of trees, balloons, walls. There's just so, so much in here. Ghosts, candles, gravestones, coffins, all kinds of lights, arches rips like a wagon oh that's funny <laughs> spooky fog okay so how to get all the things so first off we have is trick-or-treating at doors and at various spots around the castle you will see these little doors like here at the entrance when it is ready for you to trick-or-treat it has this little glow on it and this is a memory game, and I'm actually really good at these. I can fly through them. Most of them are a six panel, but some of them are as big as a ten panel. And in my opinion, they don't give a ton of candy, but if you can get through them quickly and you enjoy the game, by all means, do it. And our dragon that's coming for week two, Goliath Tomb, is on display up here. The spider dragon that I can't pronounce the name of, this guy here, the Aranaix, that is the one that's in right now. I have not hatched it yet. I did get one down at auction for my kid, so I am still working on this one. There is actually a limited UGC item for it, and it's actually moving at a decent pace. I am not actively trying for the UGC this time. It's just not something I'm going to use. Another thing you can do to get candy, and it may even have some potions in it, or some random pumpkins is these pumpkins to smash around and they only take one smash this time again not one that I put high up on my recommendation for getting candy quickly this castle is huge so take your time to go explore you get a sneak peek at what's coming for week two then it's looking like we're going to be upgrading the eggs and I actually do have some of the new spider eggs in here right now and we can see our chances for hatching 50% for the Skeletor, 7% for the Scrawly, 2% for the new Spider Dragon, the Aranaix, and 41% for the Falkiki. And it's going to take an hour to hatch these. So obviously if you have any Robux incubators or incubators from some events, that's going to speed up your process. 
There is also a new hatch party cauldron, which I'll talk to you about in another video that will greatly reduce the time for a hatch. But let's head down here, because down here we see in week three coming, we are getting kind of leaks, suggestions from the devs in the Discord server. There's going to be a boss in there, because he said we might want to have a mother dragon. But over here, we have some mobs in the depths of the castle. And I'm going to show you why I'm not really recommending these guys for grinding candy. One, they take a little bit to take down. And look, we only get three candy for a mob. So they are not high up on my list. And of course, a spin wheel is here. And it's going to cost you 250 candies for one spin. And you get to do that once a day, once every 24 hours. If you would like additional spins, you can spend Robux to get them. That is up to you. Now there are a couple of things on here that are only on the spin wheel. Let me see if I can get up there to show you. But I'll put a little cut out from the concept art from the Discord server. You have your vampire potion. We have a fear potion. That one is new. You can have a chance for a spider egg and all kinds of interesting things. And also in here is fishing, and there are actually four fishing spots. All bodies of water, obviously. So if you can't find all of them, you can find at least one of them. Now from fishing, we can get all kinds of potions. Presets, your material and color potions are in here as well. Your Halloween presets are in here. Halloween themes are in here. The only ones you cannot get out of fishing are things that are exclusive to the wheel. Anything else you could potentially get out of here. The candy that you get is going to be 30 candy. If you completed all seven ghosts and origins, you will get 33 candy because it's a plus 10% extra candy. There is also a chance that you will get a spider egg out of here. So if you want a combination of potions and a combination of eggs and a combination of candy, honestly, Fishing is going to be your best thing. Don't reel in those fish. Toss them back out. Oh, so right here, I'm about to catch a really cool potion. This looks like one of the new ones. All right, let's get ready. i got to click really fast. Please don't lose it. Please don't lose it. Oh, and one of these server events has started, and I will show you that in a second. My friend Zach is in here, and he's probably participated too. Okay, the witch brew theme. Come here, Bennett. This one is the Smashing Pumpkins mini mini game server event whichever you want to call it i think they call it a server event you literally just go around and smash pumpkins and there will be a count if you place first you're going to get candy and an egg anybody in the top three has a chance at an egg so second and third place people have a chance at getting the egg very similar to the races during the solstice event and this event is quite long so I'll clip out a good bit of this and show you what we get at the end. Now one thing I will tell you while I remember is this is playable in private server as you can see. It is just me and one other person in here and the server event minigame does still spawn. We have been told by the devs that it will not spawn as often in private servers and to be honest I'm fine with that because it seems to be spawning about every 10 to 15 minutes. And for me, that's actually quite frequent, considering I have other things to do, like trick-or-treat the doors and go fishing and smash pumpkins, fight mobs, whichever you want to do. So, and don't forget, we have to spawn eggs. I will show you that after this game. And there is another one of the fishing spots. I'll try to point those out as we fly over them. My friend Zach is actually in here doing all of the trick-or-treat door locations. I will put up his channel name here on the side on YouTube. If you have a moment, go check it out. If you want to know where all of those trick-or-treat door locations are, he will be getting a video up. And here we have finished. And see, just one person participated, and we still get rewards. Got 220 candy and the spider egg. So this actually is one of my recommendations for the best way to get eggs, especially if you do not want to spend your candy or are limiting spending your candy.
The other way to get eggs, most commonly, is by using these egg tubes. And these are spread out throughout the castle. There are at least four that I have seen. For this to spawn an egg, you have to have 300 candies. And I will show you what happens. So the ghosts come out and there's our ghost with our egg. And off he goes. So we have to chase this guy down and get our egg. And I've got a big, big tip for you. They have the same pattern. If you watch it, it's going to go in the same pattern. I highly recommend go the other way and cut it off and run right into him. Don't do like I did and just miss. <laughs> but if you do miss, just go back around. You get another opportunity like that. It's got a pretty big hitbox and I just clipped him with my wing and got my egg. So that is actually one of your main ways to get the eggs. I recommend if you don't want to spend a lot of your candy, do the server events that pop up. The other server event, if it's popping up while I'm still in here, is a ghost chase that's really just like the ghost that just came up, except a whole lot of them go around the server everywhere, and you have to catch as many as possible in about the three to four minute time period. The more you catch, the higher you place among everybody else in the server, the better your reward. And that's actually even one of my recommendations for candy is do those server events. So this is a nice quick overview. I have plans for Saturday, so I will not be playing very early on and getting a more detailed video up for you, but I will be playing more when I get back. And I am going to plan to go live on probably, probably Tuesday. I was thinking Monday, but I have something Monday morning, so we'll see how that goes. But it'll be early in the week, we'll say Monday or Tuesday, where I'll play the Halloween event in a public server with you guys, and we can sort all of this out. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will read everything, I will answer what I can. I will do more videos coming up. I just wanted to get you guys started on this so that you can go into your weekend and be ready to play. Again, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in game or another video. Bye.